Three-time WWE champion and member of the WWE Hall of Fame, the one and only Mick Foley on the BT Couch. And uh, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, clearly, I'm making a fashion statement right off the bat. What is it, 99 days till Christmas? What's going on with Santa Claus? 90 days, 99 days till Christmas, my 266th day of wearing Santa Claus-themed attire. I'm attempting to go an entire year uh, because I have a documentary that I'm a subject in and producer of called I Am Santa Claus. And in about day 100, I'll be honest, I can't document that I wore Santa Claus attire, but I believed that, that I had, and I said, I might as well just start documenting this. So, yeah. uh, so there are photos of me every single day with a different, uh, not altogether different, you know, you might see this in another month or so, but yeah. uh, basically it gives me an excuse to dress however I like for an entire year. Well, you are an interesting character, sir, and there are so many stories. You talk about the I Am Santa on your social media, you got a great following online, but uh, Wow, what a career you've had, and uh, you're sharing some wrestling tales on stage tonight, which we're going to talk about in a second, but uh, this year, Rogers brought the WWE Network to Canada, and it's a chance to really explore some of the greatest matches of all time. Tell us, what is it like reliving these moments for you and for newer generations to get familiar yeah, with what you did? I'll be honest with you, it was a little bit nerve-wracking last week uh, because they aired my episode, uh, Have a Nice Day, of their Monday Night War series, His Monday Night War being the battle for wrestling supremacy between WWE and uh, WCW, Ted Turner's organization in the late 1990s. And my like, daughter rushed home from a friend's house and we all sat around. I was a little nervous, you know, uh, and I thought they did a tremendous job. And it was really kind of gratifying to know that all these new fans can look at me and go, oh, I see why it's a big deal, you know, mm -hmm. because to some people I may not strike them as the typical wrestling superstar, but with an hour's explanation and the courtesy of great video clips, people get the, they, they get the message. And you were saying one of the great things about watching uh, professional wrestling is not just what happens in the ring physically, but the mic technique and some of the promos you would cut back in the day, whether it was Mankind, Cactus Jack, or just Mick Foley, uh, you didn't rehearse these, you just went in and did them live. Well, I was thinking all the 24-7 like my wife used to just like break me out of a daze you know I'd be in public just just staring and my wife would come up to me like you're cutting promos you know short for promotional interviews but like, yeah yeah like always I was thinking. always thinking about it so when that camera went on I didn't need to have anything written like it was always on my head and that's kind of what I do you know with with these with these shows that I do it's like you know now we've got technology so driving down the road and it's like oh I got an idea and you make the little uh, verbal note on your phone but uh, I get the same rush from being on stage in front of a a couple hundred people that I used to in front of 20,000 is all about making a connection with the people you can see and uh, sending them home with a huge smile on their face. And I'm sure all kinds of questions come your way. Let's talk about Vince McMahon, CEO and chairman of WWE, the maniacal force. We've seen him as a character uh, within the ring. What made this man such an effective leader, a good boss, and what's the best advice he gave you as a professional wrestler? Uh, well, you know, I, I would like to return there one day, so I'm going to say his greatest attribute is his compassion. <laughs> <laughs> of course, fellow human being. He was a, you know, here's a great piece. It's not necessarily advice, but this is something he told me after the infamous cell match. He came up to me and he said, Mick, you have no idea how much I appreciate what you've just done for my company, but I never want to see anything like that again. So even though he knew that the extremes that I was willing to go to to make my matches memorable were a benefit to the company, he, deep down, he's a, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a, yeah, he's a good guy. And I don't think wrestling fans, myself included, will ever forget the Hell in a Cell match with this man and The Undertaker. Absolutely incredible. Tonight, Maple Ridge, you're going to be on stage at the act. Uh, we've got details popping up on screen. Uh, sharing tales from wrestling past, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Oh, Mike. show main greet as well. Oh, yeah, and we throw that in. Santa yeah. outfit's going to be there too. Of, of course, yeah. Yes. I can't be caught without a Santa Claus, Santa Claus attire uh, for this entire year. He loves Christmas. 99 days to go.